In the end, the person who was selected believes in bringing her A-game to work every day. Her goal is to leave things better than when she arrived. This honoree leads by example, is active in school events, and involves parents from the school's community. Our district winner for the Employee of the Year is a terrific problem solver, and she uses these skills to make an impact. For instance, she started a culinary club for students that supported by the school's partners in education, and she hopes it will become a pilot program for other schools. She's gone above and beyond by making customized meals for students who struggle with healthy choices for lunch. Our honoree has a big heart that extends beyond the school walls. Just one example, she baked over 500 cookies during Hurricane Matthew to keep the school's special needs guests comforted during their stay at her school. And if you haven't already guessed who the winner is, <laughs> let me do this Oscar moment. I've always longed to do that. The winner is Jamie Skinner, Ralph Williams Elementary. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, let me uh, take a minute <laughs> to catch my breath. <laughs> so, thank you for this honor, being selected as Employee of the Year. I would like to first thank my mother, Linda Martin, for providing me with support, love, and for giving me life. It was her words of encouragement and years of service with the school board that brought me down this career path. My sister, Ashley Fisher, who saw my passion for something and selflessly volunteers her time each week to Culinary Club. My niece, Michaela, because of her, I found my home at Williams. And to everyone at Williams Elementary for the support and recognition and for seeing that I am so much more than a lunch lady. I'd like to thank Mr. Reed and Mr. Harold for bringing me into the school with open arms and open minds and for supporting our culinary club this year. And I also want to thank my former supervisor, Mary Lake, who has been amazing and provided me guidance and support through my entire career with Brevard Public Schools. I never imagined five years ago when I left my chef position in culinary career with the Orlando Magic and started at Anderson Elementary that I would one day be in this position or that my life would be this impacted by so many students. It's the satisfaction of smiling faces and the skills that I'm helping teach in such a small way. From the first graders in culinary club learning how to do fractions, convert recipes, and follow directions, to the sixth graders secretly learning about science and chemistry through baking. It's the extra thought of preparing items for students who just need a little more attention. It's providing comfort to those in need by baking hundreds of cookies and making gallons of coffee during Hurricane Matthew. And as Dr. Who says, I am and always will be the optimist, the hoper of far-flung hopes, and the dreamer of improbable dreams. This has never been just a job to me. This has been an adventure filled with those far-flung hopes and improbable dreams. It's rising above the call of Lunch Lady Land, and it's being everybody's Aunt Jamie.